Today is the night of um, May 2024, and this will be our fifth video on Standard Indus phone. Okay, thank you so much um, for all my subscribers. Thank you for uh, sticking with me and uh, believing in me. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, and if you haven't um, considered subscribing, uh, I'll appreciate if you do so. Okay, um, and when you subscribe and you get the notification, please watch, share, like, follow, do whatever you can so that we can uh, circulate the platform as well, okay? Um, it People might need it in the future, okay? And we uh, would have done so well if we help other people also get through their exams with uh, what I'm putting here. Okay, and please, 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 if the account is not yours, don't misuse somebody says account. Um, ask permission before you use it to subscribe. Or ask somebody to help you open your own account. Okay, that would be the best one. Okay, if there is nothing uh, restricting you from opening an account, then open your own account, subscribe, and get your own notification, or ask somebody else to help you open an account, okay? In the comment section, you always see, please follow my notes slash scripts, okay so please uh don't watch without the notes because um as i said uh, yesterday um three days ago when i was doing a video on uh, the start of cyclic quadrilateral we know that the two opposite angles should add up to um 180 but there was an angle so i kept on saying 115 what i wanted to say is what will add up to 115 to make 180 okay and uh, i i i don't know how that will sound but that is what i also wanted to say to you in the exam don't be thinking uh, 115 and write 180 it happens sometimes okay that is why when you finish go over your work okay go over your work treat marks now if you are going to write this um as if it is changed okay for instance if you are going to buy something for 99p and you get it for net you have 97 p they won't give it to you they won't give it to you even though it's 2 p okay and that is how a resource and great boundaries are if you fall short of one mark or half a mark you are not going to get the minimum grade you want okay so and you don't want it's painful to go back and do a reset because of one mark okay i sympathize with those people but it does happen okay so please treat uh marks now like they are money okay treat it like that be savvy if uh, you can't answer a question leave it Go through and answer the ones you can, and then go back and answer the challenging one. Because the ones you can, you wouldn't need a lot of time. So the rest of the time you have, you can take it, think about um, uh, what you've learned, and apply them. Because I keep on saying to you, immediately you set up the equation, everything else is calculation anyway. 
okay which is it, like 10 left 10 right 10 left 10 right and you arrive at the same answer okay so please um follow my note and then if you follow my note there is something called a photographic memory when you see something you cannot unsee it so for instance there are things i know in mass that you can't convince me otherwise okay and at times um those maybe those were challenging topics for me when i was younger but because i've spent a lot of time just going over and going over to understand it now i can see it like circle theorem i, I don't know the theorem of hand um like the names of hand but immediately i see a question i know what to apply okay so that's how you should uh, learn math so immediately you see it your mind gets goes and say oh i've seen this before i know how i should work this out okay nobody is like a second nature you know how to brush your teeth nobody will teach you that but you learned it when you were a child how do you think that and you are 18 plus now and you can do it without your parent is because you've done it over and over and over again and that is how learning is please beware of scam is that is another tip okay um for your exams and beware of scam is please don't fall for it we want money for orphanages it's not coming from me donate money for this cause is not coming from me please don't fall for it watch last video for recap we did addition in standard form um the first case where the powers are the same and the second case where the powers are not the same okay i found the need to do this because uh, the as impossible questions there was a question in that where i use uh, different methods okay so i thought let me just go through standard form because they might ask you to leave your answer in standard form okay uh we've just finished said so um they might ask you to leave your answer so if you don't really understand it it will be a problem so please if you don't understand it watch the earlier introductory videos and then watch this series from the beginning okay you can watch the introductory video okay if you're going to write this um, now i'll be advising you to be watching the topics you feel you are not confident with and then be solving so the possible exam questions i did like 50 of them you can start looking at them okay and try and understand so that if you get a similar question then you can get your full marks okay good luck anyway today i'll start i will do some mental maths okay i might be doing a bit of mental maths from now on so that it can help you think a bit faster okay so the first one is root three times root two times root three okay that will be the first one okay now root three root three is three from what we learned and said we have videos on said so the answer will be three root two so that will be my answer here okay the second one is root seven root three times root seven times root seven root seven times root seven is seven so that we have seven root of three so that'll be an answer here third one root six times root two times root two okay so root two root two okay 
is um two so we have two root six that is yeah with time you will just see it and you know okay now here root seven root three 21 also can be written root 7 root 3 okay so root 7 root 3 i can write it as root 21 so root 21 times root 21 is 21 okay so that will be my answer there now let's go on Um, today we are going to look at the subtraction. The subtraction is similar to um, what we did last lesson, the addition. Guess that here the powers of 10, instead of adding, we subtract. Okay, so the case one, the powers are the same. Okay, as we did. So you have 3.2 times. Um, 10 to the power 3 minus 2.5 times 10 to the power 3. So we add the numbers 3.2 minus 2.5, which will give us 0 0.7, and then 10 to the power 3, because the powers are the same. You remember last lesson I said, this is like in algebra. 2.2b minus uh, 2.5b. So the b's are going to come out. So you treat this one also similar like that. So now you have 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 3. Now 0 0.7, that is not a standard form, okay, because it's less than 1. The video, the standard form should be um, less than, uh, greater than 1 and um, less than 10. Okay, so um, that one here is not a standard form, so we can leave it here. So we have 7.0 or 7 times 10 to the power 2. Okay, because we are going to move the decimal here one place towards the right hand. So it will reduce this power here, okay, by 1. Now we have 7.0 times 10 to the power 2. So that will be the answer. So 3.2 times 10 to the power 3 minus 2.5 times 10 to the power 3 will be 7.0 times 10 to the power 2. So here the powers are the same, okay? Or you can write both numbers out in full and subtract and convert it back as we did in the addition as well, okay? So here you can write both numbers in full, okay? So let's look at that. Okay, 3.5 times 10 to the power 3, 2 minus 1.3 times 10 to the power 2. Okay, so here, um, okay, I'll show you when we get that. I think I didn't use this example. So again, 3.5 minus 1.3 will give you 2.2 times 10 to the power 2. So that will be your answer. So 3 point, we add, we subtract the numbers and then uh, we keep the we keep the 10 to the power 2. Okay. Okay. As I said to you, if it's algebra, you just keep the numbers. Okay. It is in multiplication that you add, and then in division, you subtract. Sorry. Um, we'll do the multiplication next time. Sorry. Okay. So, um, 
the subtraction is basically like the uh, the addition. I'm clarifying here, please follow by note. It's basically like the addition. You subtract the numbers part, and then you, if the powers are the same, you keep the power. Okay. Now, so this is another subtraction. 2.7 minus 1.1 uh, there, and then times 10 to the power 5. Okay, so this 10 to the power 5 is out. So for instance, if you have 2.7 times B minus 1.1 times B, then you get 1.6 B. Okay, so that is in algebra. So here, the powers are the same. So we bring the powers out and then we subtract the number. Like in addition, we add. So if you subtract it, the number part, you get 1.6. So 1.6 times 10 to the power 5. Okay. If we had got 0 0.16, then we have to convert it to 1.6. Or if we had got 16, then we have to convert it into 1.6, which will end up affecting um, the, the powers. Okay, the 10 to the power, whatever we have. As we saw earlier, okay. Now, the fourth one, 5.3 times 10 to the power 4 minus 2.2 .2 times 10 to the power 4. So, the 10 to the power 4 will come out. And then we subtract the numbers. So 5.3 minus 2.2 .2 is um, 3.1 times 10 to the power 4. That is if the powers are the same. Now, if the powers are not the same, okay, for instance, this one, okay, the powers are not the same, okay, how do we do that? Look. So we can change it to a whole number. So if I have 3.2 times 4 to the 10 to the power 4 minus 2.5 times 10 to the power 4. Now in the question, the powers are the same. But you realize that 3.2 minus 2.5 will give you 0 0.7 times 0 0.4. Okay, so now, the 0 0.7, you need to do it as 7 times 10 to the power something, okay? So here, okay, at 3.2 times 10 to the power 4. So I write the 3.2 out, okay? 10 to the power 4. I move the decimal 4 places towards my right hand because the power is at positive. So I have 32,000. 2.5 times 10 to the power 4. I move it four times. Okay. So I have 25,000. Now 32,000 minus 25,000. I'm going to get 7,000. Okay. So now 7,000 in a standard form will be 7.0. The decimal is here, so 1, 2, 3. So that will be 10 to the power 3. So that if I multiply 10 to the power 3 by 7, I come back to 7,000. Okay. So you can um, multiply it out. You can write them as whole numbers subtract and then change or bring the powers out subtract and then convert back it depends on you okay which one you understand better okay do that okay now let's look at another example okay here the powers are not the same but we have to subtract so 3.2 times 10 to the power 4 
minus 2.5 times 10 to the power 3. So how do we deal with this? We can either make the powers the same. So we keep 3.2 and then 2.5 times 10 to the power 3. We change the powers to be 10 to the power 4. In that case, um, 2.5 becomes 0 0.25. Okay. Because if you are going to increase the power, 2.5 is going to go down, not up. Okay, so now we have 3.2 minus 0 0.25. Okay, so now we have 2.95 times 10 to the power 4. Okay, so that is when the powers are not the same. So we can change 1 to make the powers the same, and then we apply what we've been doing. Okay. On the calculator, if you want to use the calculator, okay, I said to you, um, ask your teacher to show you this because it's very, very important. Assuming you have a calculator, maybe they might ask you to show working, but if you have a calculator, you can check your answer. As I said to you, I don't have my calculator there because I've borrowed it out. Okay, I've given it to somebody who is writing their exams as well. So, um, well, you, I, I, I couldn't bring it to show you, but the exponential sign is on your calculator. You can go and look for it. Or when you go for your revision class, um, ask somebody to show you or ask your friend or your teacher to show you, okay? So, assuming you want to check this answer on the calculator before you start, you type 3.2, then you type in your exponential, and then you type 4. Then you subtract 2.5 exponential, you type that in, and type 3, okay? It will give you this answer. Assuming you are not using the calculator, but it's a calculator paper, then you can use the calculator to check your answer, to guide you to this point, okay? Because if you don't get this answer right, then everything you've done here, you might get maybe a mark here, but if you want to get this mark as well, Okay, as I said to you, treat your marks now as if maybe you are going to buy something and you are short of 3P or 2P. They will not sell it to you. Okay, except the person is very, very kind, but even they might not give it to you. They might just tell you, uh, come back when you have the P. <laughs> so, that is, if you going to somebody who is very shrewd, okay? Uh, that is what I have for you today, okay? I hope the mental mass helps you and uh, the starter mental mass, mass, okay, helps you so that it will help you be on top of your game, okay? Um, please subscribe, share, 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 please. If somebody is struggling at this point, and you know, don't keep quiet, give it to them, let them watch, okay? If they can't hear me, I'm sorry, but after a, a, a few, one or two videos, they will hear me, okay? And since I to follow my notes slash script, they will hear me, okay? Please, beware of scammers, okay? I'll keep on saying this. Because it will be, don't be, if you inbox me and say that you donated to my charity, it is a good thing to say, but it's, it's, it, I don't have a charity, I don't have orphanage, I don't have, I'm not looking after amputees, okay, and I'm not just soliciting for funds. 
if I'm doing that, I'll let you know. I have I'm not doing anything like that. Okay. So please don't let people scam you. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next.